Now let's talk about vaccination efforts. It was a very busy weekend across the city. Health officials now say more than half of Toronto teens, 16 to 19, have had their first shot, as almost all Torontonians can now expect a two-dose summer. So joining us now with the very latest on the city's vaccination rollout is General Manager of Emergency Management and Fire Chief Matthew Pegg. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing all right. And thank you so much for joining. I know you have a busy schedule as always, but I got to say, I got a phone call. Uh, my phone was ringing this weekend. City of Toronto. <laughs> I picked it up and like many Torontonians, hey, Mayor John Tory was on the other line in an automated message talking about a, a town hall that is coming up where you'll be included as well uh, when it comes to vaccinations. And that's coming up on Wednesday. Can you talk about that? Sure. That's, uh, that's a new program that uh, the city has launched known as VaxTO. And uh, it is doing a number of things. It's uh, leveraging a number of really cool and innovative uh, communications platforms, much like social media and text messaging and calling like you experienced, and uh, adding a number of tools to the toolbox. And of course, uh, part of that kickoff will in fact be a, a citywide town hall that I will be uh, very pleased to accompany Mayor Tory and Dr. Davila in uh, really in doing a couple of things to help spread the message to help answer any questions, uh, hopefully to address uh, any lingering vaccine confidence issues and, of course, encouraging as many people as possible to get vaccinated as very soon as possible. Chief Pegg, uh, we, we, in the very beginning, we saw a lot of the lineups and now we're seeing some vaccination clinics where, you know, you go to vaccine hunters and City of Toronto site and saying, hey, there is no lineup. We are ready to go. Do you think that we're at a point where some might say we're plateauing to a degree? Well, the, the lineup, let's deal with that in two pieces if we can. The lineup thing is, is an interesting thing. From the, from the start, when we built the city-operated uh, vaccine clinics, there's nine of those, uh, our operating model was based on the, the principle of doing everything we can do to eliminate lines. So everything is pre-booked. It's all pre-scheduled, confirmed appointment times. And uh, our clinics run extremely well. And generally speaking, it's very uncommon to see lineups at city clinics. When you contrast that against some of the clinics like pop-ups and mobile clinics that our Team Toronto partners operate, uh, oftentimes there is a first-come, first-serve or um, you know, a come-as-you-are style of clinic where uh, you'll see the lineups. Both work extremely well, and uh, you know, we would not be here without the incredible support of all of our Team Toronto, and that's hospitals, that's Ontario Health Team Partners, it's community health partners, just doing absolutely fantastic work. With respect to plateauing, we're certainly seeing, you know, we're, we've got the majority of people uh, have, have already had their first dose. That's fantastic. This, this next push is about uh, really reaching out and speaking to the people that have not yet had the opportunity or taken the opportunity to get uh, to receive their first dose, and then really uh, focusing on what, uh, as uh, I know you've been talking about this morning, the expedited and accelerated uh, second dose rollout, which is really exciting news as well. Indeed. And so, uh, and we should just mention to our viewers again, those 80 plus can log on and start uh, getting on board with that appointment. And then it goes uh, by when you got it 70 and then when you got it for first dose, second dose. So that's definitely encouraging news. And I do want to say, I, I want to give a shout out to everyone within the city, the volunteers, those who are working, all of these clinics. Um, just some incredible work that they're doing. And I do also want to remind those who are attending there um, that some some of the behavior that we have seen at some of these clinics for some people who might have been abusive to those who are uh, working these clinics that that is just uncalled for and I, I know you've been outspoken with that to uh, chief peg about some of the bad behavior um, so i do want to call that out but thank everyone who is doing their very finest work in order to get these shots into arms yeah you know very well said and thank you for bringing that i, I will say i have the privilege seven days a week of working alongside some of the most dedicated selfless people i've ever experienced there is this massive network of staff and volunteers who are coming together to launch and roll out and continue to administer our vaccine campaign and frankly we are so close to having covid behind us and that's really at their collective hands um, I, I'm glad and I appreciate the fact that seeing the, the types of negative behavior you spoke about, we do see that, although uh, I'm, I'm proud of the fact, I'm proud of Toronto and the fact that it's very uncommon in the grand scheme of things. We appreciate that people are frustrated. Uh, we all want this behind us. I know that there's, there is a real, uh, a real desire for the second doses. The great news is uh, the accelerated rollout is coming. So please be patient, bear with us. We'll get through the 
the implementation of the provincial framework and uh, hopefully in, in only a few short weeks we'll uh, we'll be able to say that COVID is on the way behind us and we'll be heading back to uh, all of the things we've missed so much. Oh, wouldn't that be nice. Chief Peg, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Cheers. Have a great day. You go too. Leafs, go. Ooh, oh, there you go. 7-Eleven, Chief Peg says, go Leafs, go. What say you? We're going upstairs. Hi, guys.